Hello YouTube. So in today's video, I'm going to be moving right along with this Model 163 motor here. And as you can see, since the last video, I now have the entire stator core, the inside part of it, is now spray varnished. So it's all sealed and bonded together really nicely, and everything has been cleaned out. So we have pretty much a brand new motor again, uh, as far as the the core of it. Now the outside is still has the original ILG paint. I didn't mess with that too much because I'm trying to keep the fan as original as possible. Uh, the original paint seemed to be in pretty nice shape on most of it, so I'm leaving it. But um, what I'll be doing now is I have to take this fish paper here and I need to cut this. I've kind of started already to make this, uh, this little um, kind of simple fold here. And I want to get a idea of exactly how big I need to cut these so that they fit in here nicely and stop just on the inside of that little spot where it uh, flares out. So um, I need to do a little bit of trial and error and get, really get something down, get the fold down. And then when I'm done, I'm going to roll a lip on both sides of these. And I have to make sure that the length is good so that when I push them in there, they pretty much snap in and they won't fall out. Okay, so I wanted to show the basic layout here of how these slot insulators work. Um, now, what I haven't done yet is I haven't put the fold or the rolled lip on each side. Uh, I still have to do that, but this is just showing the basic outline of how this liner fits into the slot. So you've got one big piece that goes all the way around the back side and it comes right up to where these little flared out portions are. So that gets locked in and then you have this little cap piece that goes on top. Now, how that works is, let's say you have your winding. I'm just gonna use this wood stick. Let's say that that is the magnet wire that is going through that slot. Well, what's going to happen, obviously, this isn't as full as the slot will be when it's really rewound with the uh, magnet wires in here. But just to demonstrate, what will happen is you'll be able to pack this down nice and tight right up against the um, the windings. And once everything gets varnished together, it'll all be nice and solid. And also, if you've got two different windings, let's say there are some portions of this motor where you've got the run winding on the outside and you've got the start winding on the inside. Um, now, the motor, the way this one was done from the factory, it didn't have any of this. So it's not entirely necessary, but it does make for a better motor if you put a piece of this in between those two different, since it's kind of like two different phases you can think of. you got your starting phase and your running phase. Um, if you put some insulation paper between the two, that will also help prolong the life of the motor. It'll just make it a better job when you're done. So now I've got to go through, I pretty much have an idea of the size of the uh the slot liners that I need to make. And now I need to go through and I have to design the roll on each end so that they can lock in. All right, so as you can see here, I now have a lip rolled on the end of the slot liner. And what that does, is you can see here, it locks over the edge and that prevents this slot liner from slipping to one side or the other or falling out while you're trying to wind it. Uh, it's just nice to have them so that they hold themselves in. And it also makes this edge a little bit more sturdy so that it can't be creased or cut through or anything like that. Uh, it's just a nice way to do it. Uh, pretty much how I see a lot of motors done like this. So it's definitely not a not my own idea. This is just going by what I've seen in other motors. Um, so now I have to go ahead and do this. 35 more times to get all the way around the whole rest of the stator. Here is a quick look at the stages of making these. I start with a flat card that is the correct size. 
then I fold over the ends and then I put the bend over the entire length of it and you have your slot liner. Well, I hope you all enjoyed watching this segment of the ILG Model 163 Rewind videos. Um, if you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe to my channel to see some more ILG fan content like this. And have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching.